realized they're never going to protect you. I was terrified. I didn't want history to repeat itself. No one knows the full truth. My heart bleeds. I think the nation's heart bleeds, doesn't it? How much money does it take to sell out your entire family? Joining me now is GB News' royal reporter, Cameron Walker. Cameron, the anticipation is huge, the controversy is palpable, but the dates for these have been revealed, and one of them is actually when, supposedly, anyway, nurses and NHS workers are going on strike on the 15th of December, which is a shame, because everyone who has an aneurysm when they watch that will not be able to get medical care. But uh, just talk to me about this. Controversy is now raging, isn't it? Well, very con controversial, you're right. And on that point, the, the last three episodes are going to be airing on the 15th of December is actually the Princess of Wales's carol service at Westminster Abbey. So yet another overshadow for William and Kate. So that's the first thing to say. You're right, very controversial. Mm. The first thing to say uh, is that Prince Harry claims that there is a hierarchy in the family. There's yeah. leaking, there's planting of stories, all suggesting that there was an agenda against Harry and Meghan when they were working members of the royal family. People with inside the institution colluding with the press to put out negative stories about them. That's the allegation. Of mm. course, they've not been proven and the, the palace would deny that, I, mm. I would say. Um, there is also, uh, he talks about the pain and suffering of women marrying into the institution. You saw photographs there of Princess Diana being allegedly hounded by the press. I think it's Prince Harry making the comparison between Diana and his wife, well, Meghan. I think he is, and that is, by the way, one of the big things, sorry to interrupt you, Cameron, but one of the big things that's got people going in my inbox where they think, actually, that's quite disgraceful because, clearly, well, people are saying, is he trying to cash in a bit on his mother's death? Anyway, I won't drag you into that rabbit hole. But, yes, I mean, that's one element of it that seems strange, doesn't it? It certainly does seem strange, but I think the interesting point is that he says uh, no one knows the full truth. Mm. We know the full truth. The problem for Prince Harry is there's two sides to every story. And another problem is that the late Queen set a precedent following the Oprah interview in 2021 when Meghan claims an unnamed member of the royal family uh, questions what colour Archie's skin would be when he was born. Mm -hmm. Harry accused his father of financially cutting off, cutting him on, off something which Clarence House denied. But because the Queen set that precedent of recollections may vary, it would not surprise me if there was a particularly damaging allegation on Thursday when the first three episodes come out that Buckingham Palace fights back. Yeah, 100%. And I think on this point, now, Buckingham Palace and the monarchy as a whole has a, usually anyway, a policy of, you know, don't comment on these kind of things, let it all wash over. Essentially, some would argue dignity, being quietly dignified in the face of various different storms. Whereas I am wondering whether or not the public mood is shifting. And in modern times, maybe it is getting to a stage now where the public would quite like the royal family to hit back a bit. And on that sense, I wonder if Harry and Meghan have bitten off more than they can chew, because that royal family is a powerful beast. The mechanism about it is a powerful beast if it decides to grind itself into gear. Well, it's certainly a possibility, but the Mail on Sunday reported a source that claims that the king and queen consorts are not worried about what Harry and Meghan are going to say in this, in, in this series. They are wearied, which perhaps was reflecting the views of the public that they are tired of what Harry and Meghan have to say because they seem to have been making the same complaints for the last 18 months. Yeah, well, and this is it as well. And he's got a book out and goodness knows what else is taking place. We've had the Oprah interview. Supposedly, since the Oprah interview, they've not had too much interaction with the royal family. Obviously, there was the Queen's death and whatever went on around that. But in reality, there wasn't a huge amount of interaction. So people will be scratching their heads and thinking, what new stuff is there? And... When it gets this far down the line, I think, hey, get over it, people. Just get over it. Move on with your life mm. and stop kind of... It's like a jilted ex who's still banging on at you, you know, after all this time. Just get over it. But also, as well, I think people thinking it's undeniable now that they are trying to use their sour grapes to actively damage the royal family. I think it's a bit of a shame because we saw, um, following the late Queen's death, when Harry and Meghan uh, stayed in the United Kingdom and they did that joint walkabout with William and Catherine outside of Windsor to view the flowers. And there was huge public support for the Fab Four back together, as it was, there was. At the, as it was dubbed. Then just a few days ago, Harry did a surprise video for um, a charity which supports uh, children whose parents have died uh, in, in conflict. Again, a charitable cause which many would think is 
very admirable. Mm. But when they keep perhaps capitalising on uh, their, re their relationship with the royal family, I think that doesn't sit right with people. But from Harry and Meghan's perspective, of course, they no longer receive money from royal finances. Mm. They don't receive our money, as in taxpayers' money, sovereign grant. They don't receive money from Charles. So the only way they can perhaps make money is by signing these multi-million dollar deals with Netflix, Spotify, his book in January, yeah. as you said. Uh, and what have they got to sell? What have they got to say other than... It's sad, though, isn't it, in that, in, that, in that respect, really, which is that you could be that desperate for that amount of money, which, let's be honest, they are from a kind of class of people, one would assume, where they're probably dead against billionaires whilst they're doing their very best to try to become billionaires off the back of airing their family's dirty laundry in public. It just doesn't sit well with me. But, Cameron, thank you very much. You're going to be a busy man.